welcome everybody to this bird photography video and today I'm going to be talking about how to photograph singing wrens and this is something I've done for a number of years particularly at this location where I am now you can probably hear some wrens singing in the background well the first thing I'm going to do is just play the sound of the singing wren so you know exactly what it sounds like and you know what to listen for So there you go, it's a very loud song for such a small bird, it really is, and I think it's quite distinctive. So like a lot of birds, wrens will return to the same place, and you can often find them in the same area singing in the springtime, sometimes even in the same bushes, maybe even the exact same bush. So that's the case here, I know this place really well, I've been coming here for years, and I know there's a stretch here along this path of about, maybe about 100 metres, where there's usually about three different wrens, so maybe there's three different territories and in the springtime they will often sing on the tops of the bushes and that gives you your opportunities to get your pictures. Location can be really really important for your bird photography and then it's just the case of a little bit of field craft. So your wrens are generally going to sing on the tops of bushes or in trees so you want to look out for those places and try and look out for the higher areas as well because they'll tend to go for the, the higher branches, the higher perches on which to sing from. I have quite a specific technique that I use for these kind of pictures. So what I'll do, I'm in the right area, I know there's wrens, I can hear them singing because I know the song. And then when I see one fly into a bush, that's when I'll go closer. So as soon as it flies into the bush, it'll probably go lower down, maybe the middle of the bush, maybe it'll start singing. At that point, I'll go close to the bush and get in position. So I'd move myself in uh, ready and waiting for the wren to appear. Again, maybe I can see it skulking around, maybe I can hear it singing. If I can hear it singing in the middle of the bush, then I'll probably try and position myself close to that. And then what you want to do is look for the areas on the top. So look for the, the higher areas, the higher perches where the wren might go. The likelihood is what they'll do is start in the middle of the bush and eventually they'll make their way up. They'll just get higher and higher and they, they should, if you wait long enough, really good chance that they'll go and perch on something really high and really prominent. And with that as well, it's really important that you try not to block a view of anything. So, look for those prominent areas and try and make sure that you're not blocking any of them. This is something that's happened to me in the past, a mistake I've made. Uh, so I've been close enough to get a picture, it's jumped onto a flower but there's been a flower in front and um, it's blocked it and I couldn't get a shot. So just have a look and make sure that you're not blocking any potential um, perches from where you are. Just have the camera ready, so have the camera to your face, near to your eye. If you have it down here and you've got to bring it up, then it's potentially going to cause a bit more of a disturbance. It might put the bird off. Singing wrens, generally you can get quite close to them at times, uh, but you never know, it might cause a bit more disturbance. So when you get in that perfect position, get the camera up uh, near to your eye so you don't have to move as much. And I think as well, it, it also kind of, it kind of hides your face. Maybe it's blocking your face, uh, maybe that doesn't cause as much disturbance. So get the camera up close to your eye, get ready, and as soon as the bird goes onto a prominent perch, and start focusing and firing. In this situation I always want a clear blue sky and that's because I'm usually pointing upwards towards the sky, I've got nothing else as a background uh, to go out of focus so I really need the sky to be as blue as possible. So I'll look for the forecast for those really clear starts. I do find early morning is so much better, it's usually better for wildlife photography in, uh, in all respects but certainly for singing birds, for songbirds like your wrens, yes you can get them in the evening that can work well also but in the morning is just absolutely the best time i find you get the most activity and you've also got a chance of potentially some mist around there as well And I always try to do the exposure manually on days like this where you've got no clouds around, it's so consistent the lighting, it's really really easy to set your exposure manually and stick with that. So I'll set the ISO, the shutter speed, the aperture, all completely manually myself 
try and keep the ISO probably between 400 and 800 uh, depending how early in the morning it is and then the shutter speed the closer I get to the Wren the higher I want the shutter speed I'm more concerned with that um, and the reason is because of the actual Wren moving whilst it sings so whilst the bird sings you get quite a lot of movement around the throat sometimes the bird kind of vibrates its body as well so if I get in closer which I want to do then I'm a bit more concerned about the shutter speed if I'm a bit further away it's a bit smaller in the frame that I wouldn't worry about the shutter speed as much uh, 400 500 of a second to be fine possibly even slower but the closer I get the more concerned I am about keeping everything nice and sharp to focus on the wrens I much prefer to lock the focus so there's different ways you can do this uh, for me I use a one-shot focus on the Canon system and I use the shutter button uh, to focus and fire so what I'll do I'll wait till the wren jumps up it starts singing I'll get my camera to my eye I'll half press the focus it locks make any slight adjustments to recompose and then fire. I'm just going to give you another little tip now for if you're photographing wrens in terms of your positioning and indeed for any bird really if it's sat on top of a bush and you're photographing towards the sky. So if I was shooting this way now uh, towards the top of this bush I'm still shooting fairly close to the horizon and it's going to look much lighter it's not going to look as blue. If I can get lower down and shoot more upwards then I'm shooting towards the deep blue sky you're going to get a much better background. So if you can get yourself a little bit lower to improve that angle and try and do that. I hope these tips and techniques help you in getting your own pictures of singing wrens. It's something I absolutely love to do. Always spend a little bit of time on it every spring. And if I can get them with that yellow gorse flower and blue sky, it just looks absolutely fantastic. If you're not subscribed, do subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for notifications. And I'll see you somewhere in nature sometime soon.